In the beginning, there was nothing. Neither good or evil existed. But with the appearance of man, everything changed. Blood, war and suffering became man's constant companions. But so did fame, wealth and success. With the appearance of some nations, progress was redefined. And it was this progress that they spread it everywhere. But it was not always to remain so. Darkness overtook the world and much changed around us. But we remain true to our principles and gods. The seers were consulted and if nothing changed, our future would be dark and cruel. But this is unacceptable. And so it's now up to us alone to save Britannia. This is the beginning of the new Romano-British campaign. But this campaign is different, because you, the viewers, can directly influence what happens in this campaign. Vicarius Victorious of Britannia is one of the last represents of Hellenism, and Rome has changed more and more to the bad, leaving Britannia alone. Now, Vicarius has decided to found his own senate, to lead Britannia into a new and better future. And you are the senators and can have direct influence on the campaign by writing comments. So you can determine how the campaign develops. But Vicarius is still the most powerful and if he doesn't support your proposal, it can be rejected. Therefore, you need a higher approval rating from senators who support your proposal. As soon as your comment has 15 likes, I have to bow to the will of the Senate. No matter whether I think the idea is good or bad. But I'm very excited for this campaign because I think it could be absolutely amazing. So let's start. A few minutes later. Oh man. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Welcome to Britannia. Now it was time to save Britannia. Vicarius was a trained diplomat, which had its advantages. My vassals were also relatively easy with me, except for a few cases. Hello there. In addition, I still had to decide whether I should concentrate more on centralization or decentralization politics. A new wedding was also an offing, which would hopefully result in a few young heirs to the throne. There was also the ever-present danger that Honorius would abandon Britannia and rob me of my position. First, I listened to the concerns of my subjects and gave them jobs or money to buy warriors to defend themselves against monsters. And things remained quiet for the time being, until an argument developed between my son and the best warrior in the land. May the best champion win. Oh, in the duel that followed, my son lost his life. But there was not much time to mourn. The first rebellions against Honorius broke out and I had to decide whether I wanted to support them. They are fighting against Honorius. The problem is... <laughs> As soon as Honorius abandons Britannia, we're at war with him as well. I think we should still wait for our chance. I decided to wait and watch. I used the following time to make the first economic progress. Oh, Christian. That's not our faith. <laughs> 
we are Hellenic. And so it remained for the time being, until Jarl Wittstag of Jelland launched his attack on Britannia. The feat would be catastrophic, but I was dependent on Rome's help to be able to defeat their superiority. Moreover, I could negotiate an alliance, but since it was an attack on Rome, they couldn't help me. Jarl Wittstag's armies destroyed many parts of the Gallic coast and there was still no sign of Roman armies. After a long wait, a letter from Honorius suddenly arrived. At first, I thought he wanted to give up Britannia, but it was an invitation to his council. Okay. <laughs> I was a bit in shock, I just thought we had to fight for Britannia because he wants to abandon it. That's the chance. Now the Romans can prove how loyal they are to us. Perfect, she's pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, really good. Honorius finally managed to defeat the uprising. And shortly afterwards, I received the message that Roman troops were on their way to Britannia to assist us. I think we should join them, as it is our land that is in danger. And so I began a siege to recapture the fallen coastal cities. I was briefly occupied with something else when I noticed that the first battle between Rome and Jelland has already taken place. But I was too late to reach it in time. Rome suffered a bitter defeat and I recognized the approaching danger too late. I've got a bad feeling about this. So the second battle ensured, but my Britannic legions were absolutely obliterated. Now things look bad. The war was about to be lost and the Roman armies were completely wiped out. And as if things weren't bad enough, Wittstagra's armies meanwhile began to occupy Britain. And while I was doing nothing, waiting the coast of Britain slowly being occupied, suddenly there was breaking news. The Western Roman Empire had collapsed. And Britannia was now suddenly free. The empire has fallen. And now we're at... However, Jarl Wittgard did not give up his attack and I was lucky to be able to pursue him to a white peace. Now peace had returned. But shortly after the war, the first dissatisfied vassals became loud and wanted to become independent. In all the new stress, a new heir was born and thus the succession to the throne was secured. However, it was a child of a concubine and my true wife had a son shortly afterwards, which could cause problems later. But first, there were more important problems, for a vassal uprising led by Colius demanding his independence. This time, however, my allies were able to stand by me. And as they prepared for the first confrontation, there was another cruel surprise. Oh my god. Now the newborn Vicarius Maximus was on the throne, which headed the role of ruler over to his advisors for the time being. Another alliance was negotiated with none other than Jarl Vidgar, who would be a great help in the war. In the first battle the rebels were crushed. However, this was only a short success because of news of an invasion of Slavic. I now did everything I could to defeat the uprising quickly, which fortunately succeeded. Slavic had an equal army, but I was able to surprise them and thus defeat them one by one. Many victorious battles followed and Slavic was repelled. Now it will be decided what Britannia's future will be.